from the South Columbus Public Library. This video is going to show you one method of making some hypertufa pots. So let's get started. So the first step before you mix any cement for hypertufa is that you'll need to find a form. Um, I'm going to try to use cardboard boxes. So you're going to want to find two boxes that fit inside each other. Okay, you're going to want to have clearance of about well, maybe two inches. So when they fit inside each other, the actual cement is going to go around this inside box. And the outside box will be, of course, the outside of the hypertufa planter. So these two fit in each other. And it won't give you a very high one, but you might want a flat planter for maybe succulents or something with not very deep roots. So these two boxes also fit inside each other and it gives clearance all the way around, and it's a little bit taller. Now this set is all finished, because what you're going to do, after you find the two boxes that fit inside each other, you have to make both the inside form and the innermost form waterproof. So you take your the box that's going to be the outside because the cement's going to go in the bottom, it's going to go up the sides. You want to make this waterproof. I use bubble wrap for this one because it'll give like a texture to it. And then for the inside box, it won't really matter because that will be the inside of the planter. So this will fit down in there. And that's the form. Okay, so now that we have the forms ready, we want to mix three peats, Portland cement, peat moss, and perlite. Peat moss is available at Home Depot and Lowe's. Perlite is too, and the Portland cement would probably be best at one of those hardware stores or big home improvement places. Okay. So what we're gonna do is equal parts of each. So I have this for measuring. It's just an old ice cream bucket, and I'm going to use Tupperware to put it in to mix. I'm going to use gloves, and when I get to the Portland cement, I will be using a dust mask, which I suggest you do. And if you don't wear glasses, you may want goggles as well. Just remember, peat moss is more like dirt. Perlite is very light. It's not gonna hurt you, but you wouldn't wanna breathe in the dust from the cement, because it's caustic. So we're gonna mix equal parts of all three ingredients. I've got my mask on for the cement. I'm just gonna gently put that in there. I've got my perlite, and I just need the cloth now. Okay. So now I'm gonna use my trowel to mix these three ingredients before I add the water. I think that's pretty well mixed. Next, we're gonna add the water. Now, with the water, you don't want equal parts. You don't exactly know how much you need until you start mixing, but I'll show you the consistency you wanna get it to. So, I'm not gonna dump this whole thing. I'm gonna dump half and see how it gets. easier in a wheelbarrow if you're at your house. Um, it would raise it up a little bit. You could do this on top of a table. That might help. So that was equal parts water, but we're not there yet. So I'm going to incorporate all this water. So you 
definitely don't want any dry parts left in there because that will weaken the cement. But you also don't want it too goopy because then it won't be good consistency for drying. So it's kind of cottage cheesy, but no liquid left. That's about where you want it. Okay. My first mistakes when I made this years ago, not leaving drainage holes, which doesn't really create a problem, but it's better with holes. So I'm just going to use four of these bottle caps. That's about as thick as I'm going to make the walls. And we can bust those out after the cement cures. Okay. You don't want to make up a big batch because this stuff is already kind of starting to set. So you just Adding it down. The first one I ever did, I thought I had to have about three inch walls. You don't need them to be three inches. You do want to pat it down. So that's going to form your bottom of the planter. Now, I'm going to take, this will be the inner, it's already covered, so that we can set it in here like this, and I'm going to fill in around. So first I'm going to give it a little bit up the wall on each side. Again, keep it off the bottle caps, drainage holes. to the corners and push it up a little bit. Put this box inside and just fill in everywhere. I'm going to shove it down in there. And I put this on top of a plastic sheeting so that it not only catches some of the loose, but um, you're going to want to cure this and uh, keep it moist for a day. So you want something to wrap it in, especially if it's uh, dry weather when you do this. We've got this all packed. It feels good and tight. It's about level. And I've got it inside this plastic. So the next thing we do is we cure it for 24 hours, at least 24. So um, it's really moist today. It's uh, going to rain. I'm just going to cover this up. Uh, you don't want it in the direct sun. It's just like when concrete sets up. Um, the water is going to evaporate. There is a chemical reaction in there, but you don't want it to dry out too fast because that weakens the concrete. But um, 24 hours, we should be able to unmold this and have a look. So I'm just gonna wrap it up. And we'll undo it in 24 hours. So here we are 24 plus hours later. And we're going to do the unveiling of the Piper Tufa box. We kept it covered in plastic. Um, we had very rainy weather, so I actually didn't mist it um, as I would have done if it were hot. And I'm just pulling the form away from the outside. You just want to be a little bit gentle because you don't want it to crack at this point. Um, again, it's like any cement project, it's still curing for, well, a while. And it's definitely got some character because <laughs> the plastic kind of was pushed up in the one side, but it's all good. So we want to get that middle form out of the way as well. And again, this cardboard really makes it easy. And there is the completed pot. 
after about 24 hours. Now, the holes are, I'm gonna need another tool to scratch for the holes, but I would say wait about a week before you go scratching for the holes because you don't wanna puncture out the bottom. Okay, so I've read online and from my experience, the longer you cure this, meaning don't put dirt and water in here, but keep it in a place out of the sun now and let it cure, it's going to lighten up, it's going to not be as dark as this, and it'll start to lighten because this still has a lot of moisture. So this was one of my very first projects and I did it in this form. You can see that fits right in there. Um, it was a bugger to get out. So the cardboard definitely works better. But I actually plant cactus in here and they don't need the deep roots. So this one actually works out pretty well too. And that's what it will eventually look like when it cures completely. And they say that for every month that you cure it, it will last an extra year. So I've read online that these could last 30, 40 years. And I would imagine that um, unlike concrete that you're stepping on or running over, this should last for a good long time. And one other thing I've done, you never quite know how much of this cement you're gonna use up and I had this little bit extra left over that I just didn't want to scrap so I just made kind of a free-form box and we can undo that one as well even if you didn't prepare with the with the uh, plastic covering you still get a pretty nice little pot this one I've definitely kept the drainage hole free so this one gave a little bit of the texture of the cardboard um, I've also used bubble wrap as the inside layer and it would give another texture. You can definitely take a trowel and kind of scrape this when it's new if you want to get it smooth. And in the end, you'll have some pretty neat pots. So, I hope you had some fun doing Hyper Tufa with me. I sure had fun. Just once it's cured, I plan on putting some plants in here and in the other pot. So come see us at South Columbus Public Library, 2034 South Lumpkin Road in Columbus, Georgia. And you may just see what Hypertufa pots look like with plants in them. This was one of the first Hypertufa projects. I tried to make the walls a little thinner on this one. And it did get large enough that I'm growing basil and peppers in there. Inspirational. Exceptional. High tech. Organizing. Huh? Oh! Reading it. Warm and fuzzy. Suspenseful. Reading is... Musical! <laughs> Out of this world. Out of the Reading is... Everything. Summer. Reading. Shout. We're open. Check us out.